Welcome to BizWire. I'm Joseph Nordstrom in Beijing. China's President Xi Jinping is back traveling the ancient Silk Roads, but instead of trading garments, he has signed tens of billions of dollars worth of energy-related deals with Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, and Uzbekistan. Central Asia, where Britain and Russia played their great game in the 19th century, is becoming increasingly relevant strategically to China in its search for reliable supplies of energy. Middle Eastern supplies are still vital to China, but oil and natural gas from Central Asia is coming in great quantities from newly built pipelines that are considered safer than the sea routes from the Middle East, which could more easily be disrupted. On Sunday, the president was in Kazakhstan, where he opened a 700-mile-long pipeline that will take gas from the Caspian Sea in western Kazakhstan to the south, where it will connect to the Central Asia-China pipeline in Turkmenistan and take gas all the way to China's energy-hungry cities on its coast. Xi Jinping and Kazakh President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev signed 22 trade and finance accords valued at $30 billion, including loans from China's Development Bank, its so-called Super Bank, and the Export-Import Bank. In the New York Times, Jane Perlez wrote that she referred to Kazakhstan as an increasingly important energy supplier for China and an anchor for its new marching westward policy. China has made some major investments in energy in Kazakhstan, including buying an 8.4 percent stake in the Kashagan oil field in the Caspian Sea. This is a huge project jointly developed with investments totaling over $50 billion by ExxonMobil, Royal Dutch Shell, Italian firm Agip, and a Kazakh state-owned energy company. The oil field, which is scheduled to start operation next month, is described as the largest reserve of oil outside Saudi Arabia. According to the Kazakh Oil and Gas Ministry, about 22 percent of Kazakhstan's oil production comes from joint ventures between Chinese and Kazakh companies. Not to be outdone, Uzbekistan's president, Islam Karimov, inked deals with Xi Jinping on Monday worth $15 billion, mainly related to oil, gas, and uranium fields. China's president will travel to Kyrgyzstan next, where he'll attend a meeting of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, which many see as a security counter to NATO. China, Russia, and four Central Asian states are members. Other than energy, security in the region is of utmost concern to China, which has a significant Muslim population in the West that is ethnically tied to Central Asia. The leader Xi met with all pledged to boost law enforcement cooperation, jointly fight the, quote, three evil forces of terrorism, extremism, and separatism, as well as other transnational crimes. On this trip, Xi Jinping proposed that China and Central Asia build a Silk Road economic belt to revive trade and exchange on top the ancient routes. Xi said that the Silk Road would boast a 3 billion population and a market that would be unparalleled both in scale and potential. You're watching BizWire on the Blue Ocean Network. All of our stories can be seen on our website, bon.tv backslash biz wire. In just a second, we'll continue with more insight into the big picture of China's economy.